driving while under the influence of old age. So there are a lot of older drivers on our roads today, and they can pose a lot of safety concerns, hazardous dangers for themselves and also the drivers on the road as well. And so this is mainly because of the fact that baby boomers, which are the is the largest generation uh, today, and it consists of about 73 million people. And so by the age, the year 2030, baby boomers will be about 65 years and older. And also in 2018, data conducted from Federal Highway Administration found that there were about 29 million drivers who were about 70 years or older. And with that, you know, there it poses so many concerns for drivers and just worrying about the safety of oneself while driving. Um, many of these concerns relates to older drivers' ability to drive and, you know, the decrease functionality for driving skills as well. As you age, you begin to lose cognitive functions, you lack reaction time, um, your memory gets worse, you can't, you don't focus on your general surroundings as well, and this, especially when com involved with driving, can lead to higher accidents. So drivers 70 years and older have a higher rate of accidents than many of the other ages. And so in New York State, there are only a few restrictions on older drivers, such as requiring older drivers to submit their medical records and um, vision records as well. So, for example, um, if you pass all vision and medical records, you can be at like 99 years old and still have a license because there is no cutoff age. Uh, this is why New York State should have a test for all older drivers once they turn 65 years or older. Hopefully with this test, it will prevent a lot of accidents and it will promote the safety of all drivers on the road as well. Um, in order to conduct this test and uh, perform this test, there needs to be an analysis done based on the most common accidents uh, happened in elderly people, um, such as turning left, roundabouts, merging lanes, going and driving on highways. Um, and so with that, there also needs to be a class that elderly drivers take once they turn 65 so that they learn about how to deal with those age-related um, circumstances and how to abide by those restrictions. Now, in that class, it also um, will inform these participants about specific New York State regional road hazards. So for those living in upstate, it will be it will inform the participants about snowy conditions and driving in rural areas without lighting and passing slower traffic such as tractors and driving on dirt roads, whereas material learned um, for downstate residents will be, you know, how to deal with higher traffic zones, stop and go traffic, construction areas, and pedestrian um, travel as well. So hopefully, uh, by implementing this New York State driver's test, we will see a lot of reduction in accidents, fatalities, and even just like experiencing smoother traffic with all roads in New York State. Um, this is important because, you know, it protects our safety and all drivers on the road. And so the reason why I picked this topic was because I don't always want to have to worry about my safety while driving. I don't want to have to worry about if somebody's going to hit me um, or if somebody who's driving that really shouldn't be driving is going to do something that impacts my car, my health, my safety.